COVID pandemic helped teach a lot of us non-medical people a lot about medicine, including what a pulse oximeter is and the importance of your oxygen level. And at the same time, an important limitation of those devices also came to light. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new study on how this can affect care well beyond COVID. It certainly can, Kim and Devin. So here's the thing. A pulse ox works by measuring the amount of light that's absorbed by your blood when it's carrying oxygen because the light is at a specific wavelength. Now, it turns out that when someone has pigmented skin, particularly African, Asian, and Hispanic, those readings can be falsely elevated. And when doctors use those inaccurate numbers, it can change treatment. In this case, from research at the University of Michigan for heart failure. So these inaccuracies could result in the use of medications that could be potentially harmful in black patients with heart failure, or could preclude these patients from getting advanced treatment options like heart transplants and heart pumps, and might be one explanation for why we already know black patients are less likely to receive these advanced treatment options. The university's research caught the attention of the US FDA, which has met to discuss approaches to improve methods to evaluate the performance of pulse oximeters. The use of pulse oximeters is ubiquitous in healthcare, from the outpatient setting to patients admitted in the hospital, and it not only impacts patients with heart failure, but patients with other disease states such as lung disease. And it's really important that we get these numbers right because it can lead to life-altering therapies. In the meantime, the researchers suggest if there is any doubt about the values, providers should use more reliable measurements of blood oxygen levels, like taking a blood sample directly from the artery. In our research, we found that when using the pulse oximeter, as opposed to directly sampling the oxygen saturation in the blood, in black patients with heart failure, it led to underestimation of how much the heart is pumping, or cardiac output, and overestimation of the resistance of the blood vessels. Now, there is ongoing research to develop a pulse oximeter that gives more accurate readings regardless of how pigmented a person's skin is. Here's one take-home lesson, though, for viewers. If you are using a home pulse ox and you have darker skin, if you feel short of breath, even if the readings look okay, you should still be evaluated. Do not rely on those numbers alone. So, I don't understand. It's not like this is new technology. How did this go so long and these inaccuracies were missed? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, it goes, it goes back to history, I guess, in a way. When these devices were first developed, testing them on a wide range of skin colors, it just wasn't a priority. Frankly, they were tested in a mostly white population. Mm. COVID is what helped bring those differences yeah. to a wider attention. Wow. Yeah. Okay. High time. Thank All right. you. Yep.